focused on. Good morning. Is there something I got to turn on here? Good morning. There. I want to welcome you each and every one of you to worship and praise God with us today. Um, this is United Methodist Women's Sunday, and that's why we will be having um, the service today. But it's also Pentecost Sunday, so we'll intertwine some Pentecost with it. Our beginning announcements are June 10 through 13, Vacation Bible School starts. So all little kids that are here, it's time for VBS. Is that here in the park? Okay, in the park. Then tomorrow's night is Ladies' Nights at Armor, and we're invited to the uh, Grandview Reformed Church. It's a ladies' night out. Should RSVP today, and I believe the sign is hanging out back there. Um, Wednesday night is our Bible study. Don't forget that. It's very interesting on Samuel. June 22nd, the uh, community of Platt is having... Uh, I don't know what you call him. He's, a, he's an actor that turns himself in, to, or a person who turns himself into different acts and skits. He will be at the Lyric Theater in the afternoon at 2 o'clock, and he'll be at the Reformed Church in, at 7 o'clock in the evening. And it will be two different programs. It should be listed in your bulletin as a... Uh, the first one is How the Groove Gru Crew and Other True Tales, and the second one is The Psalm King. So it's two different per, um, programs put on by this person. Then we just put in the bulletin um, a list of the school kits. It won't be long. Unfortunately, we just got out of school, but it won't be long until we start seeing school sales. So um, you might want to ask Monica exactly what things she needs to see how many kits. Um, I want to encourage you to be a part of that, and we'll talk about that at the women's meeting that will be held today after the lunch. The women are supplying the lunch, and then there's a meeting afterwards as well. There will be quilting on Thursday. Anybody else have anything else? All right, let's start with the songs, I Love You, Lord, and then go to Sanctuary, and then How Majestic Is Your Name, and those are in your bulletin.
Could you please join me in the prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we come together to praise and worship you. You are a great God, and we love you. Thank you for all that you have done for us, especially for dying on the cross and for giving our sins. Send your Holy Spirit to encourage us, guide us, and motivate us to do your service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Next we will have Cher. Okay, the scripture lesson is Proverbs 31, 10 through 31. And all you guys out there, as I read this list, don't expect to check everything off. Um, it's a pretty high standard in this thing. So this, is, this scripture is about the capable wife. How hard it is to find a capable wife. She is worth far more than jewels. Her husband puts his confidence in her and he will never be poor. As long as she lives, she does him good and never harm. She keeps herself busy making wool and linen cloth. She brings home food from the out-of-the-way places, as merchant ships do. She gets up before daylight to prepare food for her family and to tell her servant girls what to do. She looks at land and buys it, and with the money she has earned, she plants a vineyard. She is a hard worker, strong and industrious. She knows the value of everything she makes and works late into the night. She spins her own thread and weaves her own cloth. She is generous to the poor and the needy. She doesn't worry when it snows because her family has warm clothing. She makes bedspreads and wears clothes of fine purple linen. Her husband is well known one of the leading citizens. She makes clothes and belts and sells them to merchants. She is strong and respected and not afraid of the future. She speaks with a gentle wisdom. She is always busy and looks after her family's needs. Her children show their appreciation and her husband praises her. He says, many women are good wives, but you are the best of them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty disappears, but a woman who honors the Lord should be praised. Give her credit for all she does. She deserves the respect of everyone. Please join me responsibly in the acts of praise number 500 and, on page 500 and 857. It's Psalm 145. 8 through 21. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all. His compassion is over all his creation. All your works give, shall give thanks to you, O Lord. And your faithful ones shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom. To make known to all people your mighty deeds. And the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholds all who are failing. And raises up all who are falling down. The eyes of all look to you. And give them their food. You open your hand. All the Lord's ways are just. All the Lord's doings are kind. The Lord is near to all who call. To all who call upon the Lord in truth. <clears throat> the Lord fulfills the desire of all the faithful. And hears their cries and saves them. All who love the Lord, the Lord preserves. All who live. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord. Let all flesh bless God's holy name forever and ever. Susan?
That was beautiful, Susan. Thank you. The gospel lesson today is Matthew 6, 1 through 18. <clears throat> Apologize, it's a little small. Okay. <clears throat> be careful not to do your acts of righteousness before men, to be seen by them. If you do, you'll have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with tri trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by men. I tell you the truth. They have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not, give your, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees that what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray... Do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the streets, corners to be seen by men. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. For, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think... They will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Lord knows what you need before you ask him. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed thee by name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today your daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not give men their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. When you, when you fast, do not, do not look sober as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show men they are fasting. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that it will, look, will not be obvious to men you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen. And your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. This is the word of the Lord. The next song is Holy Ground, uh, number 2272. Okay, it's time for the little children to come up. Let's sing Jesus Loves Me.
Do we pray for them? What else do we do for the Christians? That's in the life, huh? We'll go to church, go to Sunday school. We what? We spread God's word. How in the world did we do that here? We don't have any tongues landing on our heads, of tongues of fire landing on our heads. How do we spread God's word? Now we will have a skit. You called? Don't disturb me, I'm praying. But you called me. Called you? I didn't call you, I'm praying. Our Father, which art in heaven. There, you did it again. Did what? Called me, you said, our Father, which art in heaven. Here I am. What's on your mind? But I didn't mean anything by it. I was, you know, just saying my prayers for the day. I always say the Lord's Prayer. It makes me feel good. Kind of like getting a duty done. All right. Go on. Hallowed be thy name. Hold it. What do you mean by that? By what? Hallowed be thy name. It means... It means... Good grief, I don't know what it means. How should I know? It's just a part of the prayer. By the way, what does it mean? It means honor. Holy. Wonderful. Hey, that makes sense. I never thought about what hallowed meant before. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Do you really mean that? Sure, why not? What are you doing, God? Doing? Nothing, I guess. I just think it would be kind of neat if you got to 
control of everything down here like you have up there. Have I got control of you? Well, I go to church. That is what I asked me. What about your temper? You really have a problem right now, you know? And then there's the way you spend your money, all on yourself. And what about the kinds of books you read? And what about what you watch on TV? Stop picking on me. I'm just as good as the rest of those people at church. Excuse me. I thought you were praying for my will to be done. If that is to happen, it will have to start with the ones who are praying for me, like you, for example. Oh, all right. I guess I do have some hang-ups. Now that you mention it, I could probably name some others. So could I. I haven't thought about it very much until now, but I'd really like to cut out some of those things. I would like to, you know, be really free. Good. Now we're getting some. We'll work together for you and I. Some victories can be truly won. I'm proud of you. Look, Lord, I need to finish this up here. This has taken a little longer than it usually does. Give us this day our daily bread. You could cut out the bread. It would help you lose weight. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? Criticize me, day? Here I was doing my religious duty, and all of a sudden you break in and remind me of all my hang-ups? Praying is a dangerous thing. You could wind up changed, you know. And that's what I'm trying to get across to you. Keep praying. I'm interested in the next part of your prayer. Well, go on. I'm scared to. Scared? Of what? I know what you'll say. Try and see. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. What about man? See, I knew it. I knew it, you. I knew you would bring her up. Why, Lord? She's told lies about me, spread stories about my family. She never paid back the money she owes me. I swore to get even with her. But your prayer, what about your prayer? I didn't mean it. Well, at least you're honest. But it's not much fun carrying that load of bitterness inside of you, is it? No, but I'll feel better as soon as I get even. Boy, have I got some plans for that neighbor. She'll wish she had never moved into this neighborhood. You won't feel any better. You'll feel worse. Revenge isn't sweet. Think of how unhappy you already are. But I can change all that. You can? How? Forgive him. Then I'll forgive you. Then the hate and sin will be Anne's power and not yours. You will have settled your heart. Oh, you're right. You always are. And more than I want to get revenge against Anne, I want to be right with you. But, all right, I forgive her. Help her to find the right road in life, Lord. She's bound to be awfully miserable now that I think about it. Anybody who goes around doing the things she does to others has to be out of it. Some way, somehow, show her the right way. There, now. Wonderful. How do you feel? I protected you, but you didn't keep your 
points, did you? I'm sorry, Lord, I really am. Up until now, I thought that if I just prayed the Lord's Prayer every day, then I could do what I liked. I didn't expect anything to happen like this. Go ahead, finish your prayer. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Do you know what we're bringing glory? What we're really making you happy? No, but I'd like to know. I want to please you. I can see what a mess I've made of my life. And I can see how great it would be to really be one of your followers. You just answered the question. I did. Yes. The thing that would bring me glory is to have people like you truly love me. And I see that happening between us. Now that some of these old sins are exposed and out of the way, there is no telling what we can do together. Lord, let's see what we can make of me, okay? Yes, let's see. The moral of this gift is when you say the Lord's Prayer, don't repeat it. Pray. You can remain seated and turn to our next hymn, Blessed Assurance, number 369. Next, we will confess our beliefs. Um, the Apostles' Creed, page 881, are on the screen. If you would stand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, 
He ascended to heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father. And thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. gifts that we bring before you, that you would use them to further your work. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, do we have any prayer requests? brothers and sisters are in need. We thank you that you are a great God. We thank you that we can pray and share our hopes, our dreams, our worries, and our sorrows. Lord, we ask for a specific healing for Rich Gregor. Bless the doctor's minds and hands that are controlling his situation. Give them wisdom so they can determine what's going on. And grant him healing in your name. Please bless Kelly Barlick's mother and father. 
with their health issues. We pray for Dawn Lucas, sister of Lori Cable. Again, Lord, bring her healing in Jesus' name. We ask for healing for Risa Porter. And Lord, we ask that you be with the family of Hunter Harrington and the family of Bruce Biddle. We also ask for our continued blessings on Harriet Adele and Bertha Kreitlow as they remain in the nursing home. And we pray for the Dakota Conference churches and their pastors and the lay leadership of Kimball, Langdon, Leola, Northwestern, Philip, and Piedmont. Lord, we thank you for bringing the UMW Shepherdess here safely with us today. Guide her as she guides us. We thank you, Lord, for all of your wisdom, all of your blessings. And once again, Lord, we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We will now sing a hymn number 2152, Change My Heart, O God. Let us now depart, go on our ways for the week, change our hearts, oh God. May, I, may we be like you. You're all invited to fellowship downstairs.